Now when the Confederates fired on Fort Sumter, hundreds of young men from New York volunteered for the army. I too felt the same passions for our country, the Constitution, and the need to rid this land of the scourge of slavery. I closed my office, gathered what savings I had, I left for Washington to enlist in the army as a surgeon. It was the fall of 1861, and hundreds of wounded were pouring into the city from the first battle of Bull Run. So I met the Secretary of War. But Secretary Cameron told me that a woman cannot enter the army. So I met with the Surgeon General, who told me that I ought to become a nurse because a woman cannot be a doctor. This I would not accept. So I decided to take up matters with their boss. So I wrote a letter to President Lincoln outlining my medical qualifications. And he wrote me back. But in his letter he said, the medical department of the army is an organized system in the hands of men supposed to be learned in that profession. And I am sure it would injure the service. For me, the strong hand to thrust among them anyone, male or female, against their consent. They would not accept my services. While hundreds of wounded were pouring into the city.